Hey everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to part one of this very interesting case. So what we have here is a fungal infection, another one, unbelievably, which is, uh, you know, strange because we didn't have any for months. We haven't had any interesting cases for, for months and suddenly, bang, 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 all in the space of a few weeks, we have these very interesting and weird and complex cases coming through to the clinic. But um, those little black dots that you can see residing upon this, you know, quilt, so to speak, the black dots are the spores of the fungus. And you can see here, just as I'm kind of moving this pale debris, it's not quite dead skin, it's not quite wax. What this is, I mean, to me, it kind of has like a kind of cloth-like quality. And that's because that's mycelium. And mycelium is this kind of a rooting kind of furry bed of the fungus upon which the spores will, will sprout out of. So the best way to think of it is like um, the mycelium of the fungus is sort of like this, this very fine mesh or weave of, of hairs. Um, so that's, that's what it is. And we're trying to retrieve this sample here. You can very clearly see those black dots there, what we call the conidia for. The, like the, the, the black dots, uh, like the head, which carries all the spores is the conidia for, and then the little spores themselves are called conidia. But um, there's the sample. And I quickly put that in a, a, like a little kind of tube, like a sample container tube. And my initial thought was, great, I'll finish this patient off. And if it goes well, then I'll have time to look at, look at it under the microscope. And then uh, I got really busy. And, you know, as it happened, I thought, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. And uh, basically a week went by. And all the while, this little kind of globule of fungus and dead skin and wax was just kind of sitting there in this tube, happily growing away. And when I came to look at it again, it looked quite different from the sample that I harvested in, in this video. So it, you know, part two will be, will be very interesting, but it basically looks like a little world underneath the, the microscopes. It's very interesting. And uh, what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit more about it and, you know, the type of fungus that it is. Um, I, th I think those of you who are already familiar with with this kind of thing um, and clinical, you know, case presentations of fungi and, and otomycosis and stuff will probably already know what fungus it is just by the look of it. But, uh, you know, under the microscope, we can kind of see it in, in detail and, and high resolution. So, uh, and it's shot through the microscope in 4K, so it's got nice resolution. So here, as I get deeper and deeper, you can, you can see just how rich the debris is in, in spores and this black mold. And uh, so there's just a close of it with the endoscope. So, and, and if I'm right, you know, this is the same strain of fungus that, that basically does cause black mold, like when, when food is spoilt and things like that. And you can see on the wipe here, that kind of black dusty stuff, again, those are the spores, the conidia of this fungus. So going in again, we're gonna remove this last little piece of debris and, you know, when I say debris, I mean, basically, it's just sort of a mess of spores and mycelium and hyphae and, you know, dead skin and wax and fluid and oil. And it's all just it's all just a complete mess, really. Um, but the good news, the good news is that after this procedure was done, the patient was no longer in pain. They felt their hearing was better. And, and then of course, you know, I, I was straight on the phone to his general practitioner doctor to, to you know, organize a, a prescription for this patient. Um, so, and, and hopefully this is now resolved, but I will catch up with this patient in a week or so and, uh, you know, see how he is. But uh, there we go, just pulling out this last, last chunk of debris. Again, very rich in spores, in, in black mold. And uh, we're gonna go in again and I, at this point I felt, so we'll see the eardrum, there it is. So that kind of purplish, rosy hued uh, piece of skin there. It's got a few little globules of kind of sluffy skin, but that's a fairly good looking eardrum considering, you know, the, 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 the well-developed otomycosis there. Oto meaning ear, myco meaning fungus. So it doesn't look too bad to me. Um, so, you know, hopefully the antifungal drops will take care of the rest, but um, there you go. So I hope you found uh, part one interesting. Part two 
is very interesting, at least to me it is, and I hope to impart some of that interest into you. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.